to the diverse needs of its residents and the latest significant changes in fertility legislation include the following. So IVF for unmarried non-Muslim couples now permitted in the UAE. This groundbreaking development in the UAE fertility law grants permission to unmarried non-Muslim couples to undergo the uh, vitro uh, fertilization procedure within the country. Now, however, there is a vital condition that both parents must register the child under their names, ensuring the child's rights and lineage are protected. Next up, expanding surrogacy rights. This legal overhaul has also removed a restrictive clause that previously prohibited couples from seeking the help of another woman to carry their child. This amendment opens the door for individual Emirates to regulate surrogacy rules as they see fit. Now we say it opens the door, so there'll need to be more regulation on that front in each individual Emirate. Surrogacy is largely forbidden across the Middle East, but it is allowed in Iran if both the surrogate and the intended parents are married. The updated legislation in the UAE puts this decision in the hands of each emirate. So regulating assisted reproduction, now the new, uh, reg- uh, sorry, the new regulations not only impact IVF and surrogacy, but also the uh, preservation of embryos and eggs. Previously, the freezing of embryos was illegal in the UAE, but this is no longer the case. Eggs and embryos may be preserved for up to five years with the possibility of extensions based on written requests from spouses. So fertilized eggs that go unused or encounter legal or medical obstacles preventing implantation will be left without medical care until they naturally deteriorate unless the spouses request otherwise. Despite these significant advancements, certain restrictions still stay in place. Please be aware it is still illegal to use a sperm donor other than the husband or an egg donor other than the wife. So right now we were in particular talking about egg freezing and it's essential to acknowledge that the UAE's efforts to update its laws, especially in the realm of fertility, reflect the nation's commitment to inclusivity, diversity and responsiveness to the evolving needs of its populace. And um, of course, these progressive fertility laws aim to provide a more supportive environment for prospective parents, whether they are married or unmarried, Muslim or non-Muslim. So now... There you go, you have these um, amendments that have been made to the fertility regulations. And it's like, we have no idea, like we're not going through it, but there are so many couples out there who are struggling to have children, who uh, are constantly, you know, just checking out other avenues and trying to see what possibilities they have that could work for them, either surrogacy, adoption, egg freezing for when the time is right and they're not married yet and the clock is ticking. Like there's so many things that go on in your mind when you're closer to that age. And this just so gives you that, you know, that comfort net, that safety net. So true, exactly as you said, because it's one of these things where people really do suffer in silence. Mm. And unless you're going through it or know someone who's struggled uh, maybe to have kids or in that situation, you really have no idea. So that's why it's really important for these conversations to happen, uh, for them to look at the regulations as to what is permitted and what is not, and to hopefully, as you said, provide that safety net for people. Uh, So when the time does come, if they're going through uh, a challenging, um, I guess, uh, aim to give birth experience, then, the regulation is there for them to have different avenues. Yeah.